Dr. Bob Cross is the Achiever of the Year for the 29th Lateral Inside Awards. Bob has been in the ICT sector for nearly 40 years, leading software development teams for the implementation of some of WA's largest ICT projects with Daytech, IBM, and Computer Sciences Corporation. Bob then moved on into the academic world, where he has been an international director. He's established key partnerships for ECU with India, China, and Southeast Asia. Welcome, Bob, and congratulations on your win. Thank you, Charlie. Um, it's, um, I'm very honored to be a member of such a select group. Um, you know, the IT profession has been really good to me. Um, I, I think it has given me an exciting, um, enjoyable career. And I would say to young people who are thinking of a career, you couldn't do any better than an IT um, entry. Um, Good to hear. I, I have many people I'd like to thank, but I don't have time. People <laughs> okay. in the ACS, in my business life, in Waita, um, and in academia. Uh, but everybody knows who you are. Um, but I want to make particular mention of um, my wife, who's always had my back, and my family, who have also had my back. So I say thank you very much to the Waita uh, lateral Inside Awards. Thank you. Thanks. Now, Bob, how has the ICT landscape changed over the last 40 years? I, I must be dramatically, <laughs> but what, what are some of the things you've seen? Well, I think um, uh, from the early days, the people who did best were the people who concentrated on the software engineering and the project management aspects of it, who made it run properly. Um, and that's been important in building some of the very big systems that have been built in WA, particularly in the mining and resources area, um, and also in cybersecurity, for example. But I, I think today um, uh, new people in it need a lot more maths. They need um, to understand algorithms and they need to understand statistics, you know, to be used... Um, to be the likes of a Google engineer, for example, um, or to do uh, data science, um, data analysis, and things like that. Um, and I also think um, there is a change that is coming upon us which is different, um, uh, kind of a slow motion disruption, if you like, which is AI and machine learning. And I think that is um, going to drastically change things. And what would be one of the highlights of your 40-year career? Well, one. <laughs> mm. Look, um, I think uh, things that I look back on, um, I was um, a project manager with uh, one of the leading, with the leading, I thought, um, IT service companies in Australia. And I was managing um, multiple uh, projects simultaneously. Um, so... I was considered in the company to be absolutely on top of my game, so I'm very proud of that. Um, I had a stint in academia, as you mentioned, mm. and um, uh, getting students to understand IT concepts, particularly things like uh, normal forms in database development. Um, and, um, um, and being able to go out into the world and bring... Um, IT education to so much of the world also was um, a really a highlight of mine. Now you mentioned that innovating and being creative is going to be a big topic for universities as they navigate through the challenges of 2020 and beyond. What, what opportunities lie for ICT and technology for WA's tertiary institutions? Um, at the beginning of the pandemic, I decided to um, brush up on my data science, data analysis things which uh, you know some of the maths that <laughs> I think you yeah, kind of yeah, need now yeah um, and um, I've been using a MOOC which is a, a massively open um, course. course courses yeah, yeah. Mm. and um, uh, it is a kind of a different way of education you know where you're doing units um, uh, a short a number of short units serially um, so it's so different to the brick and mortar for units a semester. And, and I really think that um, universities have to start embracing that. And they also have to start um, offering more to um, industry. Uh, in, in Stanford, um, 
uh, people used to stop, you know, cut meetings short and go and take a feed from Stanford University. Um, uh, you know, it would only be, you know, 20 minutes or something. Or they'd, they'd just be auditing a class, if you like, mm -hmm. uh, half an hour maybe. Um, and then they'd go back to their work. So um, universities are really important for disseminating knowledge. Um, and um, universities need to understand that that's their new role, right? Not just to um, provide a degree or a master's. Um, and by the way, from those MOOCs, um, you can get a degree or a master's. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. That's great insight. And congratulations, Bob, on the, uh, on the Achiever of the Award, which, which is fantastic. And Thank you, John. Very good recognition yeah. and highly well-deserved. Thank you. All the best in the future. Thank you very much.